hello friends in this video today we are going to solve third semester uh, 2021 thermal physics paper c6 of the Bruguer university okay so let's first start with the mcqs first question is this the zero law of thermodynamics introduces the concept of temperature correct answer is temperature here and which of the following is the correct expression for the first law of thermodynamics so this is the option one and uh, next is this which of the following is largest unit of heat that is calorie and next one the which of the following thermodynamics laws thermodynamic laws gives the concept of enthalpy so first law of thermodynamics gives the concept uh, concept of enthalpy and uh, mean free part of gas decreases with increase in pressure okay decreases with increase in pressure and uh, answer to the question number two i'm not going to explain the concept here uh, because uh, you know this is to help you in exam just for the motive of this video is to provide you the answers of this questions in this question paper so instead and explain the zero law of thermodynamics so here is the explanation and the law this is the statement and here you have the explanation just pause the video and take the screenshot or you can note it so then next question is applying the first law of thermodynamics obtain the relationship between the specific heat of an ideal gas so now let's uh, go to the first law of thermodynamics so this is the first law of thermodynamics now let us obtain the relation so from here you have to write okay in order to obtain the relation so, so here you see uh, from uh, this equation let me go to the next slide so here is the last equation in the last slide and uh, this is the required relation we obtained here okay so now let's move on to the next question so here is question number two see there are two questions this one or uh, there is another one so i will show you later so there is a numerical problem here a car not uh, engine running between these two temperatures uh, 1000 and 500 kelvin has same efficiency as the as that running between x kelvin and 1000 kelvin so we need to obtain the x so now let me give you the solution here so this is the solution of question number 2c okay. this is the solution of question number 2c so that's how we can solve this is the solution of this question now let's move on to the next question so in 2c there is another question or so write down the working principle of heat engine obtain the coefficient of performance performance of refrigerator so let me give you the answers so this is the working principle of heat engine now let me give you the next part that is coefficient of performance of refrigerator so here is the coefficient of performance of refrigerator so this is the answer of 2c now let's move on to the next question in question number three we need to show these two relations okay so now let me show you so this is the answer to question number three a so first you must uh, you start with this relation so let me take this one as equation number one so this relation one is general thermodynamical relation okay and uh, meaning of the symbols are given here and uh, this relation here you see from this relation after this uh, sub substituting these results here you can see we can obtain this relation okay so now one more relation that we need to establish is this this is the first relation we were asked to establish and the next one is this okay and both are established from this equation number one so just uh, let me write here uh, just let me write here equation number one okay because according to us this is the first equation here so just pause the video and note those things down so here you see uh, let me tell you so in the question uh, first we had to establish this but i have done it second and uh, this one then uh, here you see this is number two this is number one so let me give you the numbers correctly this is the number two 
which was written first and uh, this is the number one okay so hope you have understood so this is 3a1 and this is 3a2 right so both were established from this relation so now let's move on to next question so here this is question number 3b what are the conditions for reversibility of thermodynamic process state the second law of thermodynamics now let me give you the answer so here is a 3b answer and this is second law of thermodynamics this is the statement of the second law okay now let's move on to the next question so this is the question number four what is entropy and so the entropy remains constant in reversible process but in uh, increases in irreversible process so this is the question number four answer and definition of entropy this is the definition of entropy and here is a change of entropy in reversible reversible cycle and next part of this uh, is on the other slide pause the video and take the note and this is the remaining part and the next part of this question that is the entropy in a irreversible process so so this is the answer okay so let me show you again this is question number four this is the definition of entropy and this is the change of entropy in reversible cycle so here we have got change in entropy in reversible cycle is zero that means entropy in this cycle is zero uh, sorry constant entropy is constant if the change is zero okay and in case of irre irre irreversible process this is the uh, you know analysis so now let's move on to the next question so question number five what do we understand by the first and second order phase transition discuss the which examples now let me give you the answer just uh, directly so here is the answer of question number five a first order phase transition just pause the video and note it down and this is the example of the first order transition phase transition now let me go to the second order uh, phase transition and here is the second order phase transition and these are the examples here you can see right now let me go to the next uh, uh, next question so here we are asked to write the equation of uh, you know second order phase transition let me show you so these are the two equations of uh, you know second order phase transition and i have mentioned the meanings of those symbols uh, here okay here and there just uh, before writing the you know you mentioned these uh, symbols meaning of these symbols either you know uh, at the starting of this answer or at the end of the answer okay so don't uh, express like this in a scattered way okay so now let's go to the next question here another question is there or question number 5b or explain the third law of thermodynamics in brief so this is the third law of thermodynamics and explanation and statements okay so now let's uh, see what is the next question so 6a the write the expression for maxwell's velocity velocity distribution function from it and determine the most probable speed so now let me show you so here is the 6a question answer okay so this is first phase second and this is third so let me remind it again so this is the first one okay so from here i have continued in the next slide take the screenshot or you can copy it so this is the next part and from here just continue so this is the next page and uh, from it is not uh, completed yet so this is the next and the last page is this one so this is the last part so here the answer is completed now let me go to the next question so now let's solve question number 6b so using the using the law of equipartition of energy so that the specific heat per mole is this one this is the answer to question number 6b so not completed yet uh, go to the next slide okay pause the video and take a screenshot or you can note it if you want to note then this is the answer to question number seven 
so this is one piece first this is the next so this is the next piece and here's answer to question number eight a first piece second piece this is second piece and here's third and this is fourth okay then this is fifth sixth okay this is 8b this is 8b this one 8b is continued okay so this paper is completed here